Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I've got enough frickins of red honey in my hold to hopefully go back to London and buy a new ship. I really, really hope I can buy a new ship, because there's a lot of things I can do as soon as I have a new ship. Oh yes. So let's just head straight back to London. Well, not quite straight back, but let's head back to London and sell all my red honey and see if I have enough to buy a ship. So I'm mostly going to go straight. But I think I'm just going to take a quick stop at Aestevel just to pick up a bunch of supplies. Yeah, there sh I should have enough fuel to get to Aestevel and then down to Con Shadow to resupply. Should be okay. I've got... Uh, yeah, supplies won't be a problem. Eight fuel should be enough. Uh, just in case, I'm going to buy one. Jesus Christ, my terror is so freaking high. Yeah, I really don't want to run without my lights on. Not with my terror at 66. But yeah, I think we're going to get a boat this episode. <gasps> I don't remember exactly how much it costs. Uh, but I do have... So I've got 1,400 right now, and then I have... What is it, 800? Yeah, 8 honeys. So that's that's 8,000 right there. Yeah, and plus one, once I turn in all the port reports and sell my trinkets and all that stuff, I think I'm going to have about 10,000. I think it's going to be enough. In fact, do I have a, like a captivating treasure I could sell? I think I ran out of those, didn't I? Yeah, it looks like I don't have any captivating treasures, unfortunately. Still, though, I think I can afford it. I want to say it was around 8,000 Echo, I think. The new ship. I can't believe I'm actually going to have a new boat. A new boat! It's going to be so cool! <gasps> oh... Think of all the room for activities. Think of how many activities we could do on board. Let's hope we don't lose anybody this time. Let's get a port report and then gather supplies. Nope, didn't lose a single person. Nine supplies. Sweet. It's about 180, 180 echo worth. More than worth using up a little bit of fuel to come up here. Alright, so yeah, let's head to... Uh, hmm, I guess I might as well... Yeah, I'll just stop by Nuncio, I guess. Just get a port report. See what's going on. See if that uh, that cat that I let out of the box or whatever has maybe uh, taken over the island <laughs> because of all the rats. Get a port report. Should I explore? Or else am I going to use my something awaits me in port? Nah, it'll come back in time. Might as well explore. Whoops. <laughs> There's another parcel that won't stop meowing? Uh, Actually, is that the only thing I can do? That actually uses up my something awaits me in port? Because this doesn't do it, right? No. 
Alright. Let's do it again. Oh, fuck, I forgot you gained five terror. Shit. God, you know what? I'm probably... Okay, uh, I went AFK for a second, and I totally don't remember what I was doing, but I do remember that I just opened up a parcel with another cat again, because apparently I didn't learn my lesson before, and now I've gained five terror, so I'm even worse, and, um... Uh, I'm thinking maybe I should just run with my lights off back to London, because it's going to reset down to 50 anyway. Hmm. It's already so high, it's kind of like, who even cares? I'm going to be having Zaylers going crazy, I'm going to have to put them down. Or try to capture them. It's not worth it, though. Alright, well, I did one shift work, so I think I've got one letter to give. Wait, not... No, don't go here. Uh, No, wait, where is it? Here? Yeah, there we go. There you go. You know, I really want to know how to do more here, because obviously this is not finished, right? Because you can ask to borrow a uniform. And they always reject you, right? Yeah, look but not touch. Um, I don't know, it just seems like there's something you're supposed to be able to do here, but I can't do anything. Trade war stories, that doesn't do anything. Like, none of these do anything anymore. I don't know. Maybe there's a quest related to this, and you have to come back here at some point. Anyway, am I good enough on supplies to resupply? Four fuel, con shadow. Yeah, we'll be fine. Am I actually going to get a new ship? I don't want to get my hopes up. What if I'm a little bit short? Like, I'm I'm nearly certain I'm going to have enough money to buy it. I think the real question is, am I going to have enough money to buy it and have enough left over to actually do stuff? Because you really don't... You need money to make money. So, I don't think I'm going to want to buy the ship unless I have about a thousand Echo left over. Ooh, this will reduce my tear. Oh, wait, do I have the fuel to... Yeah, yeah, I've got enough fuel to do this. Ooh, this is going to be perfect. Alright, slow him down. Eh, maybe not perfect. Hopefully then we'll get a shot off. Uh... Alright, we're good, we're good. I wish my amazing forward weapon didn't have such a small cone of fire. I usually only get a couple shots off during the deep battle because the rest of the time I'm just like so at such an angle that I can't even hit them with it. Tale of Terror. Uh, that's another page from a journal. Yeah, I've already read this one. Okay, now I'm really low on fuel. Could stop at Godfall. Yeah, might as well. It's right here. Then again, I'm re uh, you know, I'm really low on fuel. In fact, I'm gonna turn my lights off. We'll be fine. Better not come after me, meanie. Let's buy some supplies. Well, <laughs> by supplies I mean by fuel, not literally supplies. We're fine on supplies. 
I just need enough to get back to London. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I want to do? No, I think that's it. Yeah, ten, yeah, ten fuel will be plenty to get back to London. I'm going to leave my lights off because my terror is already so high that it's going to be a reset when I get back. Uh, yeah, we're good. I think I'm going to tap my network here for information. If I remember right, my chance of success with my current network quality is like 75%, I think. Now I'm actually worried my terror is going to get to 100 before I get back. That would be really fucking bad. Like, I think my entire crew might just leave if that happens. I, I'm, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure something really bad happens if it gets to 100. So maybe I will turn my lights on a bit. Especially because a random event might happen that will increase my terror. Yeah. Oh, it's a 90% chance of success. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, let's see what they need. What do they need? I don't remember. Cash. Hmm, terrible chance of success. And I really don't want to spare the echo right now because I'm saving up. Bait. Don't have it. Let's just tap it for information. Uh, wait, did I? Oh, that's weird. I succeeded, but I actually lost one of my networks. My, my network quality went down. It's weird, I thought that only happened if you failed. The dangers of success. The message arrives on a tiny fish skin sliver, bound inside a copper ring. The cipher speaks of fleet movements and power struggles. London will want to know this, but your agents have attracted attention. After a significant success, you'll often need to lie low or rebuild your network. Oh. Okay. So does that mean I shouldn't do it again right away, or maybe I tapped it too quickly, or what? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it, it looks like they're not an infinite well of of uh, information and intelligence. Even if you are successful, bad stuff can still happen. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a, a balancing mechanism to make sure players don't just like exploit the hell out of them. Because you could, I mean, you just need something way too important to do this, so you could do the same thing I do with Red Honey. Just, you know go off for, like, 30 seconds and wait for something way too important to come back and then just keep keep farming it. Okay, well, now that I have... Uh, now that I have the vital intelligence, does that mean I can improve my network quality? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I lost one of my networks, and now I... Wait. The Canate has a chair of candy operators. They take what you offer and leave you lorn as a fluke. So my network quality didn't go up, but my supremacy did. Uh, is that a good thing? I don't know. Goodbye. Maybe I should have kept the vital intelligence and sold it back at London. But yeah, I'm actually going to turn on my lights here, because I'm worried about my terror getting to 100. Ignore it. Lost one terror, okay. I don't think my terror would get to 100, even if I ran with my lights off, assuming nothing happened, but the problem is something might happen that will increase my terror. You know, some sort of a crew event or something. Don't want to risk it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... It was a long time ago, but I think somebody said that if your terror gets to 100, like, half your crew leaves or something like that. Like, it's, it's really, really bad. I'm going to navigate the rest of this entire thing without using my map. I 
<laughs> June 2nd, 1889. You are being watched. Let's get a port report. Shall I pick over the encampment? I think there's a chance of my terror increasing if I do that, so I don't want to risk it. I think it only increases your terror by one, but still. Okay, this, at this point, I think I can turn my lights off. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> It'd be funny if the, uh, the horrible event where half your crew leaves happens when you get to 90 terror, not 100. I don't know if I've ever been to 90 terror. Ugh. Wait, did I just open? I opened my map reflexively, didn't I? I, I did. It's such a reflex, sorry. Please go away, Jilly Floor. I'm not in the mood. Thank you, Jilly Floor. I respect you. Port report. Ooh, yeah. Let's uh, let's get a volunteer. Only costs one echo, and something waits me in port, and I get a new crew. I think my something awaits me in port. I just opened my map again. I think my something awaits me in port. We'll uh, come back before I get back to London. Pretty sure. Yeah, so there's a pretty good chance that the assholes are going to search my ship for the red honey because my suspicion is so high. But even if I do that, I can maybe use Admiralty's favor or... Well, no, I'm definitely going to be able to use either Admiralty's Favor or 500 Echo as a bribe. The 500 Echo would sting. I wouldn't... Yeah, I hope I don't have to pay the 500 Echo. I'm still going to come out with a huge profit. Hello, teleporting ship. Are you going to teleport for me? Hello, Beatrice. Good day. Goodbye. Yeah, because if I have to pay the 500 Echo, then my chance of actually being able to buy the ship significantly goes down. The 500 Echo could be the difference between buying a ship with a comfortable, like, margin of error of money left over and not being able to buy it. We'll see. Crossing my fingers. Please don't search my ship. Please don't search my ship. Please don't search my ship. Balls! Okay. Oh, wait! Sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is the one where I can actually use my Admiralty's favor. And what the fuck is wrong with the formatting for this? This is all messed up. Uh. Yeah, I think these icons are supposed to be up like half an inch or something. So yeah, I can talk my way out using five Admiralty's favor. I will absolutely do that. <laughs> there we go. Didn't have to pay a dime. Breath of Relief, that's going to take my terror down to 50. There we go. Looking good. Ah, <sighs> let's breathe a sigh of relief. Okay, let's take air business. Get rid of the trinkets. Thank you for the hundred echo. Let's sell all my freaking red honey. Here we go. So much money. Oh my god. I think that's it. Yep. 9,300. Ooh, once I turn in all the port reports and stuff, I think I'm going to be at 10,000. I think we're going to be able to buy a ship. Let's just eyeball it right now. I want to know. I can't wait any longer. Am I going to be able to afford it? How much is it? Uh, so I have the Charlotte. Yeah, the, the Corvette. And I'm going to buy... Oh, it's 13,000? Fuck! Shit. Well, that ain't gonna happen. I thought it was like 9,000 or something. God, I keep forgetting the price of these ships. 13,000. Oh, fuck me. What can I sell? Can I pawn off everything? Everything I own? God, one more good run of Red Honey and I would be able to do that easily. Easily. 
Well, now I'm disappointed. I don't think I'm... I'm almost certain I won't be able to buy it. Is there any way I can scrounge up, like, 3,000 right now? Fuck. Uh, let's get a Zaylor. Let's get back up. I'm sad. Spend some time with the family. Can I read the paper? I guess my something awaits me in port is gone, so I don't think I can. Right? Yeah. Done that. I should probably repair my ship, too, to be honest. Let's turn all my crap. Oh, I can pass on the strategic information. Or should I just keep it and wait until I can craft it into vital intelligence? I should probably save it, right? It's probably worth saving. Let's see if there's anything in particular he needs. Visit the port below. Oh, go to Frostbound. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. Let's submit the port reports. I've got a lot of them. It's, it's not gonna be 3,000 worth, no way, but it's a pretty good amount. It's always amazing to see how many places I've visited. It never feels like I've been to this many places. No, I don't want to give away my strategic information. Why is that under port reports? It's weird. Yeah, I'm not even up to 10,000. Damn, I'm not going to be able to buy a ship. <sighs> oh well. Unless there's anything you can do for me. Let's uh, pick up another agent. Hmm. Is there anything I can give you? I mean... Well, hold on. I haven't used this intriguing snippet for anything, so what the hell, take it. 50 Echo? Eh, it's not worth it. Strange Catch? Sure. 10 Echo? <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if I can sell enough stuff to get enough. Ooh. I probably shouldn't sell the Judgment's Egg, but I really want to. Extraordinary Implication? It's worth a little bit. I have 25 Z stories. I'm going to need a lot of that for the Muter Salt, though, because I need two Muter Salt for the uh, Brisk Campaigner. What is one worth? 10? Oh, that's not even close. That's not going to get me up to 13,000. Memory of Distant Shore, probably the same. Yeah, it's 10 Echo. Lamentable Relic, I think, is 100. But that I only have 13, so that's only 1,300. Ah, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I just don't have the money. I might be able to literally just afford it if I sell my Judgment's Egg and, like, all my stories, but it's not worth it. I'm going to sell my Torpedo Nets, because they're taking up hold space, and I haven't used them once in the entire game. Yeah, anything I can sell? Solace Fruit's only worth 50... I'm not going to sell my engine, because then I won't be able to go anywhere. No, it's not happening. <sighs> oh well. Alright, I'm going to plan out my next move, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm really, really, really set on getting that new ship. That's really what I want to do, so the main thing I want to do from here on out is probably just go back to... You know, I think I'm just going to do the same sort of run that I did before. Kind of just go down here, go to the Iron Republic... Um, get some hydrogen for the Empire of Hands, go over to the Utter Shroom, and hopefully pick up my reward. Now that I've gotten the the Blemigan Propagation to 7, there should be something waiting for me, I think. And then over to the Isle of Cats, get a bunch more red honey, enough to finally buy the ship. Jesus Christ, finally. Then Empire of Hands to dump off the fuel, and... And then at that point, I really, really, really should have enough money. However, I want to do something different right now, just... Just a little, uh, a little adventure. Just to change things up. So now that my hold space is not taken up by Prisoner's Honey and stuff like that, and I've got plenty of room, I want to go down to the Cumian Canal, and even though it's completely out of character, I want to do the big event where you can, like, travel to the surface. The one that takes a crap ton of fuel and a bit of supplies. Even though I am a vampire and going to the surface makes no sense, 
I, I want to do it just to see what happens. Because I have a feeling you get some good stuff, like maybe a Searing Enigma or something, and maybe I could take that to the Empire of Hands for the treasure map. So I want to try that. Let's go do it. So I'm going to need a crap ton of fuel. I was thinking of buying the fuel from the Iron Republic, because it's cheaper there, but it's not that much cheaper. In fact, it's not even that much cheaper to the point where I think it might not even be worth it financially. Just in the fuel and supplies you'll use up getting there and back. So I'm actually just going to buy everything from here. Even the fuel. So, I mostly need fuel. I think it takes up like 20-something. And a little bit of supplies, so I'm going to get a lot of fuel. And some supplies. Yeah, it's really there's nothing I can really dump for any more room, so let's go with that. Boink. I really do want another Searing Enigma. They seem pretty freaking rare. Kaplow! Aww, poor one's stuck. It's spinning in circles. I'm not even gonna kill it. I just feel bad for it. Boink. What the fuck is this? Okay, this is new. Recurring nightmares. You've begun to dream of... A vast eye. It knows you. You cannot evade its gaze. A black, unsleeping taste. Again and again, you are alone on the wide black Z. The eye is aware. Your nightmare will come upon you from time to time, inspiring terror. Gain restful nights at your lodgings to help you resist it. If you defeat it, you may gain a secret. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Rest, note to self, rest more. Alright, you all kill. Okay, that was weird. My, why did my guns reset? Really? Give me your meat. I hope I can buy fuel at the Cumian Canal, because I'm going to need a little bit more. Yeah, 22 fuel, 2 supplies. Let's get a port report. Listen for surface gossip. Um, I don't think I'm going to need the Something Awaits Me in port for the travel to the surface, but maybe? So I'm actually going to save my Something Awaits Me in port just in case something pops up when I go to the surface. Yeah. Alright, let's buy more fuel just in case. See, I mean, it says, you know, it says you're going to need 22 fuel and 2 supplies, but it also says, ensure you're well stocked with supplies and fuel or you may never return. Which says to me that this might be something sort of like, uh, you know, sort of like going through the swamps or something like that, or using up candles. 
where it might be kind of a, a, a tiered thing where you need to choose how far you want to go, and every time you go further, it takes up more supplies. So. <sighs> here, we, here we go. Let's just say, um, for the sake of consistency in roleplay, which I, I've been so good at roleplaying my character, oh yes. Um, let's just say that Joshua York, the vampire captain of this ship, let's just say he just put on, like, layers and layers, like gallons of SPF 100 sunscreen. And that's why he can travel to the surface, even though he's a vampire. See? Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go. <sighs> I'm scared. The Coils of the Earth. The engineers of the canal took advantage of existing caves and passages where they could. In ancient times, this was a passage to the underworld, they say. But still, the labor must have been staggering. The story goes that the masters of the bazaar lent their arts and allies to the task. But the surface nations play down the fact. Certainly some of the tunnels look blasted or tunneled. Others look... dissolved? Stone pigs, a stoker whispers. Stone pigs. Okay, I've... whoa. Whoa. I just lost all my terror. Why? That's weird. Does that imply I'm about to gain a bunch of terror, like Frostfound? The light, it's pretty. I've moved to a new area. I've lost 10 fuel. Okay, so yeah, not all the fuel is gone right away. Even though you need 22 to start it, it doesn't actually use up 22. And it's only used up one supply. Okay. Okay, yep, here. Oh my god. Holy crap. You can fill a mirror catch box here? Hey, this is the new this is the new music track I've never heard before. It's kind of jaunty. I like it. Yeah, so I wonder if I fill a mirror catch box here. I wonder if it it's if it makes a different box than what you'd get if you fill it at Aceville, or is it just you know standard sunlight filled box? Hmm. Anyway, Avernus. The canal emerges in a little lake called Avernus. A warm breeze ruffles blue waters. You and your crew shelter like vampires from the light, with awnings, curtains, broad-brimmed hats, poplars, birdsong, the warmth of the Campanian sun. <laughs> you and your crew shelter like vampires from the light. You don't say. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's see. Okay, so it takes one fuel to keep going, and ten fuel and one supply to get back. All right, well, I've got I got plenty of fuel, so <laughs> if you have insufficient to return, you'll be trapped here on the surface. Holy fuck, that's not a that's not a good way to go, especially for a vampire. All right, let's keep going. To Naples. The very last stretch of the canal runs overland to the bay by Bacali. Then it's an easy run down to the... down the... Therenian coast into Naples. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Oh fuck, I lost the crew. I can't wait to see how. Farms and Fantasies. In the vast expanse of the surface, without familiar echoes, your engine sounds strangely quiet. Your crew watches the white-walled farmhouses slip by. I could live there. One muses. Over there. Grow olives or something. Raise a family. <laughs> I come over a bit funny. Just gonna sit down for a moment. He collapses to the deck. His eyes roll back in his head. And the last long sighing breath goes out of him. Jesus Christ. The surface is restful, but your crew may die here. The longer you spend up here, the more may die. This includes you. Uh... I mean, I know if you run out of crew, then you are the last one to die. I hope that's what it means, and it doesn't mean that you will just randomly die even if you have crew still left. I really, really hope. Alright, let's keep going. I have a feeling this is going to be really long. 
in Naples. Even by night, the port of Naples is alive with shouts and laughter and work songs, the roar of engines. Brick warehouses loom over the moon-dazzled bay. By day, you try to stay below decks. The sun hits like a hammer, and the wind always seems to come straight from the struggling sewers of the slums. Look at all this I can do! Carry cargoes around the Mediterranean? Whoa. Okay. So I have to go back to Avernus, and that costs one fuel, and then to get back home after that I need ten fuel. So I need eleven fuel at all times. <laughs> and it takes ten fuel to carry cargo around the Mediterranean. If I do that, I'm dead. So you can't really do that. You can't really do that unless you have a big hold. Like, my ship is just not big enough. So let's not do that. Let's uh, share my recent news from below. Ooh! Gain supplies, fuel, and an intriguing snippet. Okay. Disbelief and fascination. A silent empress in a shuttered palace. Robed merchant princes in aspired bazaar. Serpents hiding in mirrors. No one believes a word. But you get a lot of dinner invitations and a number of gifts. Your stories are serialized in the worst kind of magazine. A well-wisher sends you coal. You know, normally being sent coal as a present sounds kind of like a, a curse more than anything. Like you did something bad and you don't deserve something good on Christmas, but... In this case, I will gladly take coal. Purchase supplies. Huh. Up here, food, gr food grows freely under the sky. It sounds like it's going to be very cheap, if not, like, free. Let's do it. Five echo for one supply. That is one-fourth the price. That is good. All the fruits. Zailers lick their lips as the provisions come aboard. Warm rye bread. Ripely blushing tomatoes. Wheels of creamily irresistible cheese. Cured hams that set the coxswain's nose twitching like a rabbit's. You'll eat well tonight. <laughs> it's not so cheap up here, far from hell. Fifteen echo. Wait, that's it? Fifteen echo for one fuel? That's that's not bad. That's that's actually not bad. Okay. So it looks like they make it hard for you to really truly get stranded here because you can always just buy fuel and stuff. So as long as you have some money, you're kind of you're kind of good. Okay, that gives me some more options. Let's see. If I spend time ashore, what will that do? Let's find out. D what? I lost another crew member, and I didn't I didn't even gain anything. Hot nights and echoing cathedrals. Naples is hotter, louder, livelier, tastier, sandier, windier, foreigner than London. After a day, your crew adores the place. After a week, you imagine, they'll loathe it. <laughs> well, that was worth it. I spent money to lose my crew. Usually you spend money to buy crew. Jesus. Train ticket to Vienna. <laughs> sure. Parabola linen crumbles in sunlight. The mushroom wines of the Neath are not kindly received in the wine shops of Italy and France. Prisoner's honey loses all its virtue. But in the coffee houses of Vienna, dark drop coffee is the new sensation. It's not so very far by train. You could travel by night. Oh, can I take dark drop coffee here? Let's go. Whoa, revolution is in the air in Vienna. The rattle of the rails. Rome, Florence, Venice. The sleeping countryside curls around you under the night sky. So like and so unlike the Neath. At Udane, things go wrong, and you cut through Slovenia. Vienna. The station alive with soot and shouting. The station officials with their whistles and their official brass buttons. Whoa. 
Jesus Christ, this place is big. Oh my god, there's a lot to do here. <laughs> okay, Vienna. The capital of the dual monarchy has seen better days. The palaces still glitter, but the mood is uneasy. Every third wall seems dabbed with graffiti, only rarely in German. Unity or death, and remember London, and the liberation of night. Radical elements have taken to smashing the gas lamps with flung stones. At least that means it's decently dark at night. Business relationship. Hmm. <laughs> you can start a business relationship with a sack of dark drop coffee beans. And it looks like you get a point in a drop of darkness. Hmm. Coffee can be very powerful. Yes, yeah, looks like an offer. A, looks like I can offer a sample of dark drop coffee beans to start a relationship with the melancholic proprietor. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Oh Jesus! Can I get involved in the politics here? Strike a blow for freedom. A fidgety agitator beseeches you to take supplies below to London for the cause of revolution. Oh Jesus! I don't know anything about the politics here. I don't want to help anybody. I just want money. I can report the agitator. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Do I want to get involved in this crap? Ah, I'm not gonna tow the status quo. I'm not gonna report the agitator to the authorities. Let's agitate it, just... Let's agitate the whole place, just for fun. Let's get highly involved in politics in a place where I don't understand the place or the politics at all. This seems like a good idea. Let's go. Esoteric Glassware. Our sisters and brothers below are performing experiments in light. For, you know, the liberation. The agitator clasps your shoulder. These are hard to find in the neath. So hard. You'll be advancing our cause by months. Please, for freedom from all tyrants. I right, bunch of just random supplies. Tinctures, candles, oils. Okay. Alright, let's go back to Naples. The hum of the rails. Fall asleep in a carriage with two gossiping bankers. Wake with your head on a snoring soldier's shoulder. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to have noticed. Alright, so there's no point in going to Vienna now, but you know what, I should, ma I should make a note here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a note, my little list of notes. Bring Dark Drop Coffee to Vienna. Or Naples, whichever one it was, but yeah, I'll understand the note. Okay. So going back to Vienna, no point. Spending time ashore, terrible idea. Sixty percent chance. Hmm. You know, I want to try this. I want to see how much money I get for actually succeeding at this. So I'm gonna buy some fuel. I wish I could use how much fuel to buy. This is kind of tedious. Got twenty-seven, huh? All right, that should be plenty. Let's do it. I lost two crew. <sighs> My poor, poor crew. Alright, let's see. Storms and desertions. A half day out of Sicily, a squall drives you almost onto the rocks. You're not weather-wise here above. Late fees eat up half your fee, and the roll cart is short. Did the missing sailors slip ashore, or did the sun wither them? Jesus. Okay, so you do still gain some stuff, though, even if you're unlucky. So I failed, but I still got 200 Echo. Hmm. So the supplies are super cheap. I can get those super cheap here. Right, that's not a problem. Uh, what about the cost of the fuel? So if you buy the fuel here, it's 15 for each. It's 100... Well, you still come out ahead. Even being unlucky, I'm pretty sure I still come out ahead. Can I keep doing that? 
I can. Okay, I'm... Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's keep doing that. I've got enough crew, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Yeah. Want a nice padding of fuel just in case something horrible happens. Let's get some supplies. Alright, let's do it again. <laughs> I was unlucky again. Shit. Hmm. If I lose any more crew, I think I might be... I'm going to be below half. Which means I'm going to be going half speed on my boat, which is really bad. Yeah. Alright, I'm not going to do it anymore. If only my luck was better. You could probably turn a pretty good profit from doing that. It'd be kind of tedious, but... Yeah, I think you could make a good profit. Okay, I think it's time to go back. Didn't get a Searing Enigma like I hoped, but... Still, there's a lot of new events that I can do here. This is this has opened up a lot of cool stuff. Alright, 16 fuel. That should be plenty to get back. I need one to get back there, and then like 10 or 11 to actually truly get back. So it should be fine. Yeah. The bloody glory of a new sunset. Goals crying above the foreland. The Sirocco rising. Smudging the smoke of your engine across a sky of dusty rose. Have you survived another day? Alright, let's go back. Down to the dark and the quiet. No birdsong. No surface wars. No ruckus peasants. Still water. The glint of eyes. That was a really, really interesting place. Kind of costly to get there. But not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like a... It's like about a hundred echo just to even be able to get there in the first place because the fuel... So uh, listen for surface gossip. Vision of the surface. Cool. Do I have enough fuel to get back? To London? Yeah, I do. All right. All right, this episode might run a little bit long, but I want to get back to London before the end of it and take my supplies back to London for the rebels. See how much I get for doing that. And I really want to bring some Dark Drop coffee beans here, but I don't know if I'm going to do that next episode. I think I might want to get the new ship first and then maybe come back here. It seems like, honestly, it seems like one of the biggest kind of resources that you need. At least one of the kind of... One of the biggest non-renewable... <laughs> this sounds horrible. But one of the biggest non-renewable resources you have there is your crew. I'm so sorry to talk about you like this crew. I love you all. But they're not very renewable. You know, supplies and fuel, as long as you have the money, you can just buy it right there. So you can keep doing as much as you want so long as you have money. But if you run out of crew, you're dead. So... It seems like you really do want a pretty large crew. And the next ship that I'm going to buy has a crew size of 25. So I think I want to come back there with a new ship. Come on. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now I really need to repair my ship. Might be worth using Admiralty's favor at this point. Well, at least my terror has been reset. In fact, I can just leave my lights off. <laughs> the Admiralty is so going to disown me at some point of what I did at the Empire of Hands. I mean, I'm helping the Empire of Hands, which is already, like, complete treason. Oh, boink, by the way. And then also I'm getting involved in the revolution. Like, I don't know if the Admiralty has any stake in the revolution happening on the surface, but... 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure if the Admiralty found out what I've been up to, he would probably have me and my entire crew executed. Alright, let's collect some messages. We need crew, we need repairs, and I also need to deliver this to somebody, I'm guessing here. Yeah, deliver supplies for the work. A burning-eyed student waits at the abandoned lime kilns by Watchmaker's Hill. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, wonderful. She hisses with delight as she examines what you've brought. Yes, yes, this brings the day much closer. Here, we won't insult you with payment, but we've brought supplies to defray your costs. And these souls. They are our gratitude. They were donated. Freely. Do what you will with them. Alright, so I've gained some more favor with the Calendar Council. <laughs> some more supremacy. Ten fuel, five supplies, and a crate of human souls. That's pretty good. W still would have preferred money, but... It's something. Okay, what to do? Uh, port reports. Of which I only have... one. Uh, lodging, spend some time with my family. Yes, yes, yes. Read the morning paper. Okay, now I need more crew. Two crew, nice. Three crew. Ah, uh, I need one more. I believe it's cheaper if I do this. New recruit. Yeah, five echo for one. Alright, back up to 15 out of 15. Cool. I probably should repair my ship. Let's do that. Is it enough to warrant using favor? Let's see, how much does it cost to do the other stuff? I think it's a hundred for like a full price repair. Three. Hmm. I don't really want to use up my favor, because I'm already I burn favor every time I uh, use it to stop the people from searching my ship, and I also burn it every time I get a new spy network from the diplomat, the voracious diplomat. So I kind of want to save it. So do I just pay the full 100 echo? Is that actually cheaper than getting supplies? I actually don't know if it is. I don't know, I'm just going to do it, whatever. I can't remember how much hull that you repair for every one supply. I think it's five. Which means I needed one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. I, I, I think it's cheaper. I'm not going to do the math. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Yeah, all right. So there we go. Had a little bit of a disappointment in not being able to afford the ship. Now I know it's 13,000. In fact... Just so I don't forget, I'm going to write that down in my notes right now. 13... 13k for new ship. Alright. I will never forget it. So, didn't buy the new ship, but I got pretty damn close. And without a doubt, the next time I make a big run of Red Honey, I am going to be able to afford it. No question. And, discovered a very interesting place that's been right under my nose the entire game. A Cumian Canal. I thought it might be a kind of short adventure that just led to getting a Searing Enigma or something like that, but it's actually an entire place with its own plot lines and all that sorts of stuff. So, it's going to be pretty cool to explore. Going to get myself involved in the revolution later on, and uh, deliver some Dark Drop coffee beans. But yeah, for the next episode, I believe I'm going to do a similar run to what I did before with the, uh, the Red Honey. As I said before, get some Field of the Iron Republic to take the Empire of Hands. Go over to the Utter Shroom, collect my reward, go to the Isle of Cats, get the Red Honey to be able to afford the new ship, Empire of Hands to dump off the fuel, and then back. So, we will have a new ship very, very soon. Probably within the next one or two episodes. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.